know, mm. kind of, it was also a couple years ago we were here. You guys had a big lead that didn't hold. Uh, you know, where do you go with this one? Um, obviously, probably, probably enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, uh, this time of year, every win is, is, is so important uh, when you think big picture and what you're playing for. Um, the two things that stood out, obviously, are the 30 assists, 10 turnovers. Uh, a three-to-one ratio is a great number, and you had a lot of guys contributing. It wasn't just Nicola with his eight. Will had five. Monte had four. Um, I think Bones Highland had five. So that was the one thing offensively and defensively. You know, we hit our guys this morning in pregame. Since the All-Star break, number one three-point shooting team in the league. And I thought our three-point defense tonight was outstanding. Five of 23 for 21%. Um, and, and you look, because a lot of the numbers are not, like, great numbers for us. Uh, they, they had 19 fast breaks. They had 16, uh, 64 in the paint um, and 14 on the glass. But... Uh, you take care of it. You take with a three-point line. You're going to give yourself a chance to build a lead. We built it, and we we're able to uh, sustain it. That uh, third quarter sequence that ends with the AG dunk. Yeah. Nine guys touch the ball at the guy. How much did you enjoy that sequence? Well, you can only have five on the floor at one time, Mike. So five guys touch the floor. Nine. Um, I understand what you're saying, but just you know, I know where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah that was one of those clips where you know, you, you, that's a that's Denver Nugget basketball. You know, I mean, it was passing up good shots to get great shots, playing with the 0.5 mentality. And, uh, you know, prior to that, one guy had an open look, didn't shoot it. We wound up getting Aaron the dunk. Um, so um, when we play like that, when we have 30 or more assists, I think our numbers just in terms of win-loss are off the charts. Um, and that's why I think we're still probably first or second in the league in assist percentage. You know, that, that's our style of play. It's been our style of play. Uh, guys embrace it. And uh, I, for me, I think that's the best way to watch and play the game. Yeah, it's great. Obviously, uh, when you can um, kind of lead wire to wire, build a 28 point lead, I bench scored 59 points tonight. Uh, and you look at their productivity with Bones getting 17, Bryn 10, uh, Austin 13, and DeMarcus 14. So you're getting a lot of contributions. Um, you know, Nicola's back was tightening up a little bit. I did not want to put him back in the game once I took him out. So I give those guys credit for, you know, not having us to uh, you know, forcing me to put Nicola or Jeff back in. Um, so we, we did enough with that. But, yeah, you, you know, you don't want it to be a dogfight every night. You don't want it going down to the wire. You don't want to be down 19 with 350 to go in the second quarter like we were in Philly. So this is a game that, you know, um, as I told them going in, this is the most important game of the season because it's our next game. And now we move on to Cleveland, and we understand they're playing at a high level. And uh, they came into our building early in the year and beat us. And uh, it'd be great if we can somehow find a way to go three and zero on this road trip against a really tough team in their building. Yeah, I, I was at twenty two road wins now, twenty two, twenty three. Um, it's it's weird because usually uh, you know we're a really good home team, and our home is just we just haven't been able to. In spots, we put it together at home, you know, but not consistently enough. And coming off the two home losses coming into this against Golden State and Toronto, um, I think on the road, you know, you have that just us mentality, us against the world in another team's building, no distractions, whatever it might be. Um, and I just hope we can continue to do it because if you want to be a team that's dangerous in the postseason, yes, you have to protect your home court, but you also have to have the ability to go on the road and win some tough games. And think about it last year, you know, we beat Portland on the road for game six. You know, uh, closing out a team on the road is probably one of the hardest things to do. So, yeah, we're, we're battle tested. And I, I don't think our guys are not afraid of the challenge of going on the road and winning. Um, you guys, what you guys are building, gaining more traction, uh, not just in that. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think so. I, I think the last three years and what we've been able to accomplish um, and how we play, it's not just the winning, I think how we play, um, I think attracts a lot of fans. 
And I think the biggest key is Nikola. I mean, the number of Nikola Jokic jerseys that you see everywhere we go is just speaks to his greatness and, and him being a, a player that not just in Denver, but nationally and globally has the respect of, of the fans because of his style of play and how, and his effectiveness on the game. Um, it reminds me when I was in you know Cleveland for five years with LeBron, um, it, it was so many times where we'd be on the road and at the end of the game when he was coming out, he'd get a standing ovation. He'd get MVP chance in other people's buildings. That's a that's an ultimate sign of respect. Uh, and I think you're seeing that a little bit more and more with Nicole as well.